first episode of uh, Learning League of Legends, and I'm here with Austin, my expert, quote-unquote, and I should turn this down here, you can probably hear all of that. Um, it's a lot better. So, I'm going to go with Jax, just because nice. that's what I know. I'm in Soloxone. So, from the composition we're looking at so far, who should be top, who should be supported, who should be so forth and whatnot. What level are you? I'm 14 or 15. <laughs> I think that, oh, like, at this level of play, it doesn't, that's probably not something, like, if you're actually trying to get into leagues and get better, like, team composition is one of the most important things in the game, especially, like, once you get into the competitive scene, but I think that's not something you should worry about right now. Right. Because the reality is, like, if you're good at this game, you can go into any lane and just dominate at this level, Right. So, like, right now, I would just say focus on your fundamentals and don't worry about necessarily who's going where. Because, um, like, the only, like, your average old 14, 15 player is going to, like, you know, they've watched some streams or whatever, and they think they understand, like, what the game is about, but they don't, and that's fine. But, <clears throat> like, hopefully Maokai is jungling. Okay. Oh, no, he's just not giving a fuck. He's taking teleport. It's cool. <clears throat> Are f Ignite and Flash good choices for me? Yeah, they're definitely fine. Um, I think Ignite is really good because basically... Can help ensure a kill. Yeah, and I mean, it basically, like, to to somebody who you're leaning against, it's like Ignite is X amount of true damage that you're going to have to take into consideration. And if you have it and they don't, that's, you know, that's like pretty much having more true health than they do. You know, right. like in those trades, you're going to have Ignite. They don't. Okay. They they have 100 HP less than they appear to have because of Ignite. Or whatever. Okay. So Ignite's fine. I think that uh, me personally, I like taking Ghost on Jax. Because, like, when you flash in, it's like you're in. You know? And it's, then it's, like, really hard to get out. So I take Flash Ignite, but... Or, I'm sorry, I take Ghost Ignite, but Flash Ignite's also very viable because, like, yeah. you can start your stun and then, like, flash in and surprise them and some other shit. Like, you know, it's really yeah. cool, but it's a preference. It's not really a right. strict. Yeah. Word. So I guess I'm going top. I'm assuming... Oh, wait. Who called bottom? Fucking Ash and... Uh, and Maokai. Maokai. Yeah... I guess Eve is gonna mid. Eve or you can mid, and then Zen is probably gonna go top with the duo. No, it looks like Zen's gonna go mid because this person just called. Oh, the top um, with me. Gosh, so Eve, Eve and you are both going top. Yeah. Load faster. All right, so we're going up against. It's like two ranged. So like right now, what I'd be looking at is like <clears throat> damage splits. And how squishy, like, just understanding really the mechanics of every champion. Mm. That's probably the, the first thing, like, you know, everyone says, like, come in, we're in last hitting, we're in, like, rolls and shit like that. I would just say, like, <clears throat> your very first thing you should do when you're when you're leveling up in League of Legends is get familiar with just all the champions. Like, never be surprised, you know, like, Amumu. You know what Amumu does. He has the bandage, he has, like, an ultimate that is, like, an AoE snare or whatever. And just like get familiar with all those champions and just play, have fun, and you'll naturally kind of learn. Oh, Mumu does this. Oh, Caitlyn does this. She has traps, and team was faggot or whatever. <laughs> and you know, whatever. More accurately, he has blinding darts and shit. But, yeah. But anyway, so yeah, I mean, once you were you're to that level, you can kind of have this. It's because it's not like strict, you know. It's like you have ten champions on the map, and how those team fights are going to unfold. It's really complicated. So, and you kind of have this intuition about, oh, well, Maokai can jump on somebody, and if they're squishy, then maybe we can kill them if they're caught out of position. But if they have a lot of peels, then what happens? Yeah. And there's there's all these variables. So I would say, like, get that get that solid. Like, understand what the champions do. And that way, at least you have some sort of intuition being like, oh, yeah, this is, I'm comfortable with this. Right? Because already we can see, like, they have a strong 
strong, strong AOE team. Yeah. Like, Amumu can walk you down, Thresh can walk you down, like, within that AOE, and then MF is gonna ult. Caitlyn has some decent AOE, depending on how she builds, but, like, her Q is, de you know, respectable AOE. She's and then, got that long-range nuke, right? That's Caitlyn? Uh, yeah, that she, her, her ultimate is the long-range nuke that you're thinking of. So what would you suggest starting with, the boots and potions? Um, I think that's good for this level. Um, I think most high-level players now are starting with, like, uh... Well, you make sure to get your third potion. Oh, uh, third? Yeah. I you usually save that extra little bit. Um, it's not something... Oh, wait. I, oh, yeah, that is the first one I should get. Yeah. Um, I, so, a few things here, like, you should always definitely try to spend all of, as much of your money as you can, like, when you're at the base, because think about it like, if you didn't have that pot, what does that pot translate to in terms of what you come back with? You right. know, so, like... If you don't have that pot, that's a hundred or you know however much HP that gives you that you don't have to farm with. If you do have that pot, then you can like stay and, that little bit longer, right? And then you farm like two more creeps, which is how much more gold or whatever. And I would I would look out because uh, Zen, I guess Zen is going top. You might uh, have to go mid. I've never midded as uh, Jax, so I'll do it. It's cool with me. Go for it, man. But so what most uh, mo most top laners are doing now, they take a uh, like a fortitude potion, which is the red pot. It's like yeah. two two hundred two fifty gold, something like that. And anyways, it, it's two fifty gold. Anyway, I don't know why I'm pretending like I don't know. Anyways, the red potion, they take the red potion into lane and like pots and wards, and that's all they take. And that's to survive trades, it's to sustain and be safe. Because really, like four seventy five gold off the start, that's not gonna buy you anything noteworthy. Right. You can start off with the Doran's Blade, go kind of aggressive, but you know, then it's like 475 gold, you're not going to get back. Oh my god, Teemo. God damn it. It's a rough matchup, but I... I gotta just be so back. Oh, I missed it. Missed it again. Backed out at the exact time there. So, like, here's a tough situation, because so you have no jungler, so, like, there's no real threat to Teemo right now. You're, you're his only threat. He's not he's not even at the level where he's thinking about, oh, what could happen, you know, where's right. the enemy jungler, etc. So, but right now, Teemo's auto-attacking creeps, and you, you're, like, doing a little bit better. You, you started by auto-attacking creeps, but, you know, you really just want to focus on those last hits. Yeah. <clears throat> I keep trying. It happens. <laughs> It's really hard with Jax, I feel, because, you know, especially when I've got a ranged against me. It know. can be, but that's why, like, you take your potions and, you know, you try to, you need to maximize your farm. Like, you, you know, you at least miss, like, 5 CS now, you know, which translates to a lot of gold. And part of it is, like, you don't you don't actively want to be auto-attacking. You only want to last hit, you know? Right. Because right now, your character is, like, your character is in between animations when you're going to last hit. Right. And just let it hit your tower, and then after two hits from that, you can last hit. Yep. Got him. All right. And then after one hit on the other minions, you can last hit. It's a little bit dependent on your AD, but yeah. Ah, oh, keep missing it. Got it. Oh shit, I'm almost dead. Yeah. <laughs> Part of potion. Ignite him. Good job. Where did he go? Did I get him? Uh, no, no, not at all. No. Oh. You hit escape. <laughs> and you should have ignited him. I tried. I was trying to flash in on him. I got all... Oh, wait, I did kill him. He's dead, but you didn't get a kill. Oh. The tower got the kill. Fail? Yeah, it happens. He was trying to be really aggressive, and that was just dumb of him. There you go. Oh, oh. I, thought, I thought you would have that. But yeah, so, and I mean, another thing, like, you just listen to how you're clicking. You want to be more active. You want to be clicking all the time. I forget, I was listening to a StarCraft player talk one day. And, well, did he teleport back? Can you hit tab for me? Okay, never mind. He might have ghosted back, honestly. That was really fast. Like, I think it's safe to assume he fucking ghosted. Okay, so I've got one of each of my abilities. What do you think is the next move? You always want to pick one to max first. Right. Um, I like this. It's a hard hitter. 
what which one is that? Is that in power? Or? Yeah, that's yeah. the one where my next attack does. Yeah, it, I can, uh, it's reasonable. Yeah, I can E and W let the E build up for a, you know how uh -huh. whatever it is a second, and then jump in, and it's just like they can't go anywhere, and I just hit them for half their health. Yeah, and I, you know, any, back to what I was saying about the StarCraft player, like. I heard him talk about APM and like you know why it's relevant, and he was basically telling me, or not telling me, but he was basically saying that like it's all about basically your mouse is like a paintbrush. He was very like you know it's very like hippieish kind of, <laughs> but anyways he was like your mouse is like a paintbrush and your APM is how fast you can paint that picture and how accurately it is. So like yeah, and just being able to comfortably move around like that. Then you can just click the minion when it has a little health, and it's, you're not even thinking about it. You're not being even like accurate with it. Right. Exactly. Okay. There we go. go. Yeah. Mine. And oh. just I, I thought you had that too, but yeah, I mean, as long as you're just being active, and it also helps you keep keep you mentally there, you know. Right. And never be afraid to like give up a little bit of farm for for safety, you know. Ultimate. At this level, I would say you can honestly try to go in on him. Um. I want to I want to pull him closer to the tower first. Make him do something stupid first. Um. Yeah. Definitely not a bad idea. But you should probably be harassing him a little bit. Like at least like jumping on him. Right. You know, like Use your E. Jump on him. Hit him with the, your level three in power. Yeah. Good shit. And then walk away. I don't know. I can get some good hits on him right here. Flash yeah. out. Oh. Uh, you, you didn't need a flash there. That was. Yeah. That was a waste. I guess. Yeah. For sure. And then, like, if he comes back again, though, like, you totally got that. Because you could have flashed him right now, and I'll probably ignited him and killed him. Right. You know, so you never want to use, like, flash unless you absolutely have to. How did I miss that? And see, right now, that would be a really good trade if you didn't use flash in a real game. Because now he's thinking, like, oh, my God, where's the enemy jungler? I'm about to get raped. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, like, he, he needs to be thinking about that. You have to scare him. Right. Jump on him. Just do it. <clears throat> you jacks. And I'm see how you walk forward. Back, he he never knows. He never knows if you're walking forward to harass him or not. Right. And you got to keep him thinking. Go. Yeah. You got that. Ignite. Ignite. Imp uh, empower. Ah, sweet. Good shit, man. Now I can stay in lane longer. Sweet. Um, you don't want to stay in lane longer. Um, you want to get your gold. And you want to go back. So, like, finish out this wave, then you want to go back and spend your money. Right. And I would say, like, I don't really know the best buy for this. I don't play Jax. Uh, you want to take rank in Q. You want to max counter last. Hit B. Yeah. And I would say, honestly, wait out the gold and get your hex tech. Yeah, I usually go for the hex first. Um, I like the attack speed and the uh, lifesteal. Well, you don't want to go hex tech gunblade. Like no, 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 you want to go to Hextech Gunblade, yeah, there we go, that bilge water cutlass, there we go, right below that, no, 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 I'm go. so confused, which one? Go, go to Blade of the Rune King, yeah, there you go, the 1400 oh. one, yep, bilge water cutlass, okay, yep, oh sweet, yeah, I could afford the whole thing, yep, so you got 1400, do you know what that does? It's an active use item, so you gotta be, you gotta be aware of that, it deals 100 magic damage, slows him. So when you jump on him, uh, after you jump on him, after you're stunned, you want to use that to keep him slowed. And so you can get more auto attacks off. Right. And that, builds into blade, that builds into Blade of the Rune King. Are you familiar with that item? Um, not very much, no. <laughs> okay, well, we'll get there. But it's like, it's a good chunk of gold away. It's 1,800 away. So your next goal yeah. right now is to stay in lane and farm 1,800 gold. And it looks like Timo's AFK is just out of lane. Yeah, I don't know where he went. I guess I should probably tell people that he is. But yeah, my I mean, right now you're just kind of auto attacking. It's it, it's a good thing right now, but on a normal circumstance, like you don't just want to be auto attacking. You want to be getting all these last hits. Well, yeah, that's that's what I like about Jax is once I get my ultimate and I get my attack speed going, then I can get the last hit just by auto attacking. Yeah, but you don't want to rely on that because like, yeah. that's you know, like hit tab real, real quick. You're at thirty five. Which is actually pretty good compared to a lot of the other people in the game. Yeah. See, watch. Last hit. Oh, yeah. No, I'm, I'm familiar with it. It's just like... Last hit. Oh, I didn't get it, but... You, know, you don't, you don't want to rely on that. Right. 
I might be able to trade, take out this tower. You will be able to. I think Timo DC'd. I think he's done with the game. Oh, that there is. Pull him back some. Or if he's not ballsy. And he can't he can't contest you right now. Like, hold tab real quick. So Timo is sitting on just a Doran's Blade and Tier 2 Boots. He can't contest you right now. Just be careful he laid a Mushroom down. Did you see where it was right here? Yeah. Got it. Oh, I should have kept... Uh. Bitch. I would say jump on him next time he comes forward to try to harass you. Oh, you, yeah, don't, you, don't want take, you don't want to take free harass. You want to trade harass. That doesn't mean all in him necessarily, but you want to at least make it painful for him to be harassing you. Right. Well, I think he I think he is just giving up on trying to fight me. Like he's It's possible, back. but like so don't DPS, don't DPS the minions then, because then you're just giving him free EXP. How, how am I giving him, when one of his creeps dies, he gets EXP? No, nah, so basically, <clears throat> right now you're you're auto-attacking, right? Like, right. imagine if you weren't there, all six, well, there were seven creeps in this wave, and Teemo just went somewhere else, and you didn't call him, I. Um, so Teemo went top, uh, I guess. I'm just going to go ahead and take this out. Yeah, that's fine. I have a chance. But so, every time you hit a creep, imagine if you weren't there, those creeps would have killed each other. Right. Effectively, right? And he would have had to come up, so if he wanted EXP, he would have had to come into range of that. But instead, you're killing the creep wave for your creep. And your creep is just going to go to his tower, and then he and can then sit there and get EXP for free. So that's why it's important never to DPS the minion wave. You want it you to want stay it to there. Stay even. Right, you want it to stay in the middle. And that's what I'm going to say about low-level play. Is this really, go, go bottom, go bottom. No, go, go to... No, no, you never want to walk towards that wall. Go to the other wall. Go to the other wall. This wall? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then go down. Yeah. Oh, like because of this bush? N well, not only because of that, but if they have a ward, if the enemy lane has a ward in their tries, they won't like see that. it. Like that. That wasn't a ward, that was a trap. Well, yeah, it was. But uh, if they had a ward right here, there's another trap you're about to hit. If they had a ward right there, it doesn't see all the way to that wall. Okay. Yeah, you, it's too late. You should probably go back mid and play with Teemo. But yeah, so at low level play, if someone else is DPSing the lane, well, that's going to. You know, while you're in it, what that's going to do is make you have to DPS the lane. You want to keep it about even. You right. don't want it to be like, then you're not just last hitting. You want to keep it about even. Right. I'm almost to the point where I can sustain myself just off of the uh, auto attack on this mob. Yeah. You really want to be aggressive with Teemo now, though. Don't You don't want jungle anymore. Jungling's bad. Oh, is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, compared to lane EXP, it's really bad. Well, that buff is nice, though. Yeah, but I mean, the the big mobs are nice, but like race aren't worth your, aren't worth your time at all. Right. It's good if you can clear a wave and then go do it, but like not when you have creeps on your tower. Right. Teemo went bottom again. You need to be like, so you need to be watching where he's going. You head all the way to the bottom, like be looking at bottom. Right. Like what's going on there? Uh, so he's got to kill somewhere. Yeah, that was a top. You think they've got their? Uh, you should probably put a trap knife down there, yeah. Or Teemo shrooms or something. So there's his trap. So he can see me now because of no, the trap. No, he can't see you. Okay. They might know you're in there, but... Oh, no! Yeah, you definitely hit that. Ignite it? Yeah, you went in there like one of the many. Yeah. Well, and this guy's gonna and die. Yeah, you, like... You need to be aware of your surroundings a little bit more. You're not looking yeah. at your surroundings. Because, like, that was obviously a really bad play. And you walked over the trap. Yeah, I, I would say go ahead and kill the, your lane, like you know, farm your lane, push it out, or kill Teemo real quick. Yeah. Oh you no, he ran just in time. God damn it! And you know you can end your E early, so you don't have to warm it up like you do. You can wait until you jump and then like hit it twice really fast. Oh, I didn't know that. So yeah, I, I mean, there's I, I'm not super familiar with Jax. I think I'm a, a little bit wrong. There's some delay time. I think it's like oh, after a certain amount of time, then you can end it early. But right. either way, you don't have to, like, warm it up and wait for it to end manually. And, like I said, you're waiting for... You don't specifically... You never want to farm a certain amount of gold and then go back based on that. But in, in our case right now, you have, like, 1,600. There's no real reason to go back, so you might as well stay. Right. And I, I would go farm wraiths at this point. Their wraiths or your wraiths. What do you mean by that? Go farm wraiths. Like, go kill wraiths. Because, like, you, you just stood at that tower and nothing happened. Like, you didn't get any XP. 
maybe one or two mobs died, but like... Oh, you mean the, like, the, the this mob? Yeah, that's, a, that's okay. the Wraith camp. Okay, yeah, yeah. alright, alright. Yeah, 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 sorry. Just making sure I knew the right context there. Yeah, no worries, but yeah. So those are the Wraiths, then you have Wolves, then you have Mini Golems, and then you have the two buffs, and those are all five camps. And I would say it's super risky right now, like, no enemies are on the map right now. So literally all five could walk out from the jungle. Right. And I would say it's super risky. You just go farm your Wraiths and then go back. Or hell, you can even go back right now. Yeah, screw it. I'm trying to go spend my two grand. Uh-huh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Am I going to make it? Oh, shit. You got that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Bye, Blade of the Rune King. And it's really strong. And then... It's go like ahead 200 and, left, so some what health potions? Yeah, two or? pots is good. And in real game, you should buy wards, but these guys are really bad. Yeah, I'm not worried about wards yet. Yeah. So... So read, Blade of the going on read, right read Blade of the Rune King. So it's still got the movement 25 speed. AD, 40 attack speed, 15% life steal. Base attacks deal 5% of your target's current health as physical damage. And then the nuke is 15% of the target's maximum health. What so, does that mean? Um, what do you mean? 15%. So I that does like four things. <laughs> yes, it's a very good item. Uh, so pretty much like on every auto attack, you're gonna do a percentage of the current health, and then also when you use the item, it not only slows them, but it also does a, a percentage of their maximum health, fifteen percent of their total health. So it's a huge nuke, and it scales up with their HP. So you can use it on tanks, you can do whatever. Right. I would go bottom and kill. Like yeah. you're really fat right now. Yeah, go bottom and kill. Don't walk through the trap. <laughs> but always be looking where they are. Go, yeah, like go straight at Caitlyn. There's no reason not to. No, straight at Caitlyn. Well, this guy's quite low. Yeah, and you never want to open up with Blade of the Rune King. Because oh, you should have used it on I, I was on the Igniter. Road. Igniter. Oh, shit, she got away from me. Yep. You totally got that. Okay. Oh. Yeah, you had that. But always go on Caitlyn. There was no reason to go on Thresh. Because Thresh would have lingered around and tried to save Caitlyn. Oh, and then I could have just gone on him afterwards. Yeah, exactly. Because okay. he's the support. But anyways, it doesn't really matter. Either way, you got a good, good kill. Yeah. And you want to save Blade of the Ring King until after you're stunned. Because oh, you get shit. you get a guaranteed totally stun again. and... Ignite? Ignite? You, you got it, walk away. Good shit. Pop a potion. There's no reason to go back. Pop All a right. potion. Yeah, I, I was thinking I go was dragon. going way too low. Go dragon. Ping dragon for your team. You have Blade of the Rune King, you shred dragon. Pop another potion and take a rank in Q. You don't want to start it alone, though. All right. Yeah, you want Maokai to take it. Take rank in Q. Yeah. Yeah, let Maokai take it, yeah. Did my two... Can I not use my ability on him? No, just auto attack. You know, you know, like your abilities are worthless against dragon compared to like your auto attacks are godlike right now. Yeah, they are. And then next thing you want to build is probably Trinity Force. So if Caitlyn died, her trap goes away, right? It doesn't actually. But oh, well, somebody already hit it. So yeah, I want to let this guy be dumb and come forward, but I guess he's not going to. He I probably won't. Just go mid and farm. Yeah. And right now, what you're looking to do is you're looking to um, hit tab real quick. Yeah, so they have enough CC on their team. You probably want to go Merc Treads, and then you want to you want to pick up like Merc Treads, Trinity Force. Okay. And then just auto attack everything. Yeah, attack speed auto attack. Yeah, no, no go top. Go no, 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 don't go forward. Go top. Yeah, no, you free. can't go that way. Like you shouldn't have went that way because now they saw you. Right. Their tower saw you, so you know. And there's no reason right. to go Wraith. Your top tower is being pushed. Like, your top tower is literally a free kill right now. And you gotta be watching the mini-map all the time. Like, right. I watch the mini-map more than I watch my own, like, my own champion. I guess I can keep track of what's going on with my... Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> I just wrecked the shit out of him. Yeah, Blade of the Ring King's dumb. And it synergizes a stupid well with Jax. Where did the... Oh, there he went. Okay. Yeah, and... Uh, you won't be able to catch him. He's fast as fuck. Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, shit. I'm getting out of there on that. Do a flash out. 
Well, that was a little bit. That fighting. was a little bit of aggressive play, but like, if you were watching your minimap before, like MF was at the tower, and that was easy. Like, if they didn't know you were going that way, yeah. right? So now you can engage. Yeah, go, 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 go. Right on, Caitlin. <laughs> oh, she flashed over. Don't, don't chase her. Shit, team is fucking me up right now. Yeah. I got a bunch of damage off on him, so this guy needs to do some damage. Get him! Get him! Get him! He's gonna get kited for days. He oh, might be shit. able to get another E off, but he's he's probably dead. Yeah, he's dead. And Timo's gonna make his day a living hell. Timo should turn around and kill the Ash. Yeah. Because Ash he, just got killed by the turret. Yeah. Timo can kill that. I don't know why he's being so shit about it. Mm. But there we go. Alright, so I got two so grand. So, I would say what you want to do right now is buy... F wait, look at your death recap first before you buy anything. No, no, no hit escape. Look at your death recap. Click for death recap at the top. Where, where is that? Right in the middle of the screen. Oh my god, it's going away. Yep, it's already gone. I don't know what the death recap is. Um, <laughs> so, you don't ever want to buy a zeal first. You want to buy a sheen. That one. Yeah. And then you want to buy... Go ahead and buy a giant's belt as well. Just find uh, it's just type giant's belt. <laughs> like go to all items and then type giant's belt. Uh, you gotta click no, there. Yeah. No, the control. Uh, oh. yeah, yeah. yeah. See, this is all stuff I don't know yet. <laughs> all of these little tricks to be faster. Yeah, that's all good. This you'll you'll eventually learn where all the shit is. Like giant's belt yeah. is just a really strong item. If you're sitting on yeah, one grand. Little, 380. Yeah. yeah, if you're sitting on, like, yeah, you're just sitting on one grand, and it's like a giant spell is never a bad idea. Yeah. Because you're eventually going to turn to that. that um, the, the chest plate thing that's like 2800. Yeah, the war monks. War, yeah, war monks. Yep. So right there, you could have either bought Merc Treads or the giant spot. I think the giant spot is a better buy. And a sheen is just really strong. Probably not that strong right now, but you want to go bottom and try to help. Bottom is getting wrecked right now. How's Amumu killing somebody? How he terrible are they? Yeah. <laughs> Amumu is really strong. But yeah, no, but I meant, you know how I, how I totally just wrecked him? Yeah, go, go on her. Use your number two. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Now Timo's gonna fuck me up. Oh, wait! The power, oh. yeah, he, and you had him power up as well. So, yeah, I mean, never underestimate how, like, how strong Jax is. I think that was probably a little bit not great for you to fight there, but... Right. Um, right now, don't be... Hit escape. Hit escape. Don't don't buy those boots. Hit, click for death recap right in the middle of your screen. Ah. So, you took mostly physical damage. So, I exit out of that. Where do you see physical damage? Where is it saying that? Oh, okay, that. So, even Teemo's doing a lot of physical damage to you. Hit, hit P to buy, and then get, get the ninja tabby. Ninja tabby. And that reduces, do you see why we got that? Because it does the physical damage, basic attacks? Yep. yep okay. Yep. So, because most people are auto-attacking, like Teemo, MF, and Caitlyn are all auto-attackers, and you're going to take 10% less damage from all that shit. Right. Yeah. Ash needs to get the strong. fuck out of there. Yep. You want a path to, you're pathing the wrong, yeah, yeah, there you go. And you're about to go into like 1v3, you don't want to go into that. Just farm yeah. mid real quick, keep an eye on the mini-map, and this is a time where you, wards would really help, because you don't know where yeah. they are. Well, I mean... They're probably just going to take that tower, in all seriousness. But there's nothing you can do about it. I would say push mid or right. something. Yeah, I don't know where any of them are except for those uh, two. Yeah, those know. two, but Teemo could be coming mid. But it's okay. Like I could kill Right, him. you just wreck Teemo. Yeah. Well, if I get the if I start on him first... No, you, know, you just wreck Teemo. <laughs> he can't do anything. You have five kills. And 114 CS. Now you, you don't want to be there, though. Because top just disappeared. Right. Well... I agree, like, it might be worth it if you take the tower, but chances are you won't. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to take it. i got to get out now. Yeah. And they're still top. Go top. You can path on your mini-map, by the way. You can what? You can path on your mini-map. Yeah, like that. So, like, Zen's trying to be a hero, and it's just fucking dumb. Oh, uh, well, that's fair. He's probably going to die. Oh. She's bad. Nice. nice. Got him. All right. Good ship. Should we go for Baron? No. <laughs> Not yet. 
I mean, if you guys had a jungler and smite, yeah, that would be uh, a decent time. But kill, yeah, fuck that guy. Yeah. Oh shit! Now it's become a hit R. Yeah. Hit R. Oh fuck! I was hitting the wrong buttons. Oh fuck! Flashed. You got that? Uh, you didn't hit W. You didn't hit your W. I fuck. didn't. Fucking A. I was. Oh no! You did. You didn't. You you did, but you didn't swing. I didn't actually get the. Yeah. The yeah, touch. yeah. It was close though. It was close. Uh, you don't want to. Well, uh, buy a ruby crystal. A ruby crystal. What's a ruby crystal? <laughs> the, it's what turns into a phage. Ah, ah, right, yes. <clears throat> so pretty much what you want to do is like... We gotta start team fighting is what I think. Yeah, I mean you guys need to be 5v5 five five and you're as strong as shit right now. Like, hold tab. I have 114 creep kills, yeah. Yeah, I mean, well, Caitlyn's really fat. Like, Caitlyn and Teemo are your big damage dealers that you need to worry about. MF is goddamn worthless. Oh my worthless. god, now he's gonna die. Yeah, he's really bad. Retard. Ugh. Jeez. It happens, but you like, just follow people. Yep, I would say just follow Maokai and let him engage. Yeah. And if you want to engage on somebody, ping, but try not to be like the first one. Like, Make sure people will follow you, you know? And right. you want to go on Caitlyn. Or kick yeah, the I mean, shit out of her right now. Yeah. I'm trying to back out. Yeah, Hold but see how much in. Caitlyn is doing to you? Yeah, ridiculous. You, remember, you have your two still, so you're good oh, yeah. for another engage, and it'll it'll give you a sizable amount of health if you guys get a clean engage on Caitlyn. Like, Ash needs to arrow Caitlyn. That's what needs to happen. Just so be Caitlyn's careful with really the team. Fast, right? Who? Caitlyn's really fast right now, right? Like She's really fat. She's not really fast. Uh, okay, it's the other. It's the MF that's really fast. Yeah. There you go. Two, two. Yep, yeah, there you go. Yep, yeah, now Teemo, ignite him. Ignite and power. Sweet. Yep. You got trapped. Yeah, uh, yeah I didn't. And so. Oh, hello. There you go. Hit me. Triple kill. Hit. Yeah, hit me. Oh, uh, shit. That's gonna tick me down. Yeah, probably. Oh, <laughs> very close. He's using uh, Leandri's torment. That's very really strong. Alright, so 1700. I can do some damage with that shit. So I would say get Warmogs now. Warmogs. Uh, you should have enough for Warmogs. Yep. And then you'll want to build up your Trinity Force next. Yep, and just. I want some attack that. speed. Yeah? I, I, I think that's personally a bad buy. I would save your money. But attack damage? 10 attack damage is not good. Either way, it's fine. It's about the same. It's not that big of a deal. Alright, I'll hold on to it. Yeah, I would just save, honestly. Because you're not going to, like, see a big boost. Like, you're. Your your attack speed's already got to your jacks, so you get like attack speed on consecutive attacks, and also yeah. Blade of the Ring King is getting forty percent. But since Zen is the person who wants to engage, follow Zen around. Yeah, back him up. Yeah, I mean he he'll go into stupid situations, but if all five of you are there, at least you can yeah, make the man. difference. Yeah, right. Yeah, he's not even sticking with us now. Yeah, you guys are all there. You got that. Um, two. <laughs> yeah, you pretty much don't want to use two, like, to get a um, pick like that was yeah. okay, but since it gives you so much health, it can give you that deceptive amount of health that you need. Hit R. There you go. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, like, now you wish you had your two. Yeah. Take a, take a rank in R. So we just lost two people in that fight, and I think we only got one. Hit tab, you can see. Now I'm too busy. Not Hit tab. Uh, okay, yeah. It was two for two. Go on, Emma. Yeah. Fuck, 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 fuck. Uh, yeah, you should turn on Kate. Yeah, you're tumbling a little bit. Yeah. Oh, shit, now I've got to get the fuck out of here. Yeah, there's yeah you should have went on Kate. Like. Yeah. Well, I didn't realize that they were going to go opposite direction as me. Yeah. yeah, well, they can't follow you, Jack. You have, like, a distance close and shit. They can't follow that. So, yeah. Like, um, it's risky to do. About this? Yeah, it's risky. Why? Because you don't know where they are. Oh, well, now you do, but, like, yeah. I would have followed you. I would have chased. Because I know yeah. you had, like, nothing left. Yeah, I don't think they have any idea that I'm, I ran out, you know? Yeah, maybe not. 
Uh, you don't want to go on that at all. Yeah. Oh, uh, you want to run? Yeah, now I want to get the fuck out of here. They're still trying to push us mid. Yeah, you want to get into your base and go to mid. Oh, yeah, now they're following me. I think they're just going through the jungle. They're I'm probably going to start. some health real quick, is what I'm going to do. Fuck. Get a phage. Phage, where? Bring your team back. Control ping. Hold on. No, no, you do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. No, it's too late. He's already dead. There's no way I could have made it in there before he was dead. Well, I, I didn't know if the rest of your team was. Like, no. your team needs to stop fighting without you. Yeah. That's pretty dumb. But. Hit, yeah, buy a phase real quick. Yep. There you go. And that'll get you the slows you need to stick on a person, and you really want to be targeting Caitlyn. Yeah. Was it Teemo to start? And that's what that's why I was saying you probably should have stayed there because like they look like they need you to yeah. Shift right click is attack move by the way. What is what is shift right click mean? Attack move. So you'll you'll walk somewhere, but you'll you'll attack the first thing on the way. Oh, uh, okay. Sweet. Watch out for that. Yeah, so mushroom. Yeah, that's four people there. Yeah. yeah. You got Ashen coming, and then Zen is right behind her, but your, uh, your Maokai is still down for another good 10 seconds or so. 15, yeah. Come on in, guys. Nobody's fucking going in. You know? Not that you got, you got. Yeah, that's all you. Go on, MF. Night. Oh shit, wrong person. Yep. I need to get out. I'm going down. Hey, you just got cut it a little too much. There's power? Uh, Caitlin's just gonna clean you guys up. You yeah. need to run. Yeah. Back out. Take oh, a rank and Oh shit! <laughs> you could have taken that for her. Take a rank and E. I guess all I've got left is a Q. Or an, oh no, another E. Yeah. Alright, so what do I got? 800? Yeah, just buy the dagger and get out of there. Dagger? Yeah. Yeah, attack speed is ridiculous for this guy. Alright, so now they're gonna go in on us again. I'm gonna take Caitlyn out right now. Or not. Yeah. It's cool. Just wait to start your E until. Yeah, I thought yeah. I was. Gonna, I thought they were. She was sticking around. I wanted to have it ready to go as soon as I got there. Yeah, but I guess you're be right. I need be to push it out, man. Yeah, but I mean, overall, like, you have the right idea about a lot of things. It's just like maybe you know your awareness is still. Yeah, I'm not aware still. of my surroundings. That is, yeah, I'm sure. It happens. Like, it takes a long time to get there, and being in the passenger seat like I am, I can watch everything. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't yeah. Fuck, yeah, I can see everything. Yeah. So. I hope Amumu is still chilling down here. I'm he, he's to he's not. Even if he is, it's not worth it. It's only one kill. You know, you have twelve. Well, you know, go. I would say he just follows in around. I'm trying to take this guy out for sure. That phage dude, it's dirty. He couldn't have gone away from you. Empower. Don't use Fuck, group. Don't use group. No, no, don't go up that way. You're the, the entire team is waiting on you. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> you did. Yeah. Uh, holy crap, that was a quick death right there. Yeah, you can't, yeah. You gotta be Now aware. they're all going in on him. Yeah, but, yeah, pretty much you just baited your team into dying. And now yeah. no one can take out Caitlyn. So, uh, yeah, I think you guys just lost the game. But, it happens. So I don't know, we just got a kill there. Um, keep it going, Ash, get him. Get Caitlyn, get Caitlyn. Oh my god. That's what I'm saying, like it. Yeah, Fucking you can't bait your team. Buy the Trinity Force. Um, after that, you want to get, um, so you don't have any magic resist right now, you want to get, um, Ma Malmordius. Ma, M-A-W. Yep. And just, yeah, you want to start with the Hex. And start with the null magic. That one, Hex Drinker. Yep. That's really strong. Yeah, they just got way ahead of us on the kills. Yeah. I don't know. I'm still. Uh, if I'm in on a team fight, I'm still. Oh yeah, no. I mean, you guys out. are still ahead. Like, there's no reason to give up. It's just like, with that, you knew all them. They saw you 
take out a moon, yeah. you know, and you knew where they were on the map. So that's what I'm saying. It's usually not worth it to like do a full rotate because then like their team can respond and they have the, the advantage. Right. But aside from that, like it was super obvious they were all there. Yeah. Moon's all by himself again. So those two guys need to meet up with us. I mean, just start paying. Yeah. That thrush might be bait, but a moon was top, so at worst there's four people. Yeah. You can go in on that if she walks out of position again. You can go in on that MF. Yeah, go go. Ah, fuck it. Uh, you can't pop it your E early. All that does is telegraph what, you're, what you want to do. Right. And now your E's on cooldown for another, you know, however long. Three seconds now, but yeah. Oh my God, that thing. Oh yeah, you want to be auto attacking some creeps. Ridiculous amount of damage. Yeah, yeah that keeps my um. Uh, that's bad R. Igniter. Yeah. Did I get her? Yeah. Right, just be auto attacking it. Empower. Empower. <laughs> Jump to somebody. Jump to somebody. Yeah. See, we can do a team fight. Barely. Fuck that yeah. That was messy. That was messy. But we got. Alright, buy a Hex Did we drinker. ace him? Yes, you did. We did. Buy a Hex Drinker. Check your death report. Oh, yeah. Teemo. So, what? All Team physical damage? No, Teemo. Look at that. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's 37% of my health was just that one. And then 24% well, of it was that. Between, is that what you're saying? Yeah, effectively, yeah. Basically, uh, what you need to look at is the numbers you took. You took 1,400 magic damage. And before that Hex Drinker you just bought, you had like no magic resist. Right, so, so Hex Drinker does... 25 magic resist and gives you a shield when you take magic damage. That puts you below a certain threshold. So I don't have to use that, it just does it. Right, it does it automatically. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's sweet. So after that, probably what you want to do is Guardian's Angel. After you finish Mama Mortius. But no, I mean finish Maw first. Maw's going to take you a while to finish. But Guardian's Angel is... That one. Yep. And it'll resurrect you from death and it gives you a good mix of... Uh, Everything else? Right. We need to get going mid. I mean, more of your team just died. They, got, they stuck around way too long. Right. I'm gonna go creep then. Yeah, just go kill, get red and then you're good. That or does attack damage, right? What? Red? It doesn't do attack damage. It just does a... Basically, every time you hit, you do some true damage on every hit. Right. And it slows them. So it puts a debuff on them that ticks. Okay. Everyone's mid. You need to be back at your base. Don't go that way. Don't go that way. You want to go around the bottom, probably, so you don't get caught. Yeah, fall ash. You can jump to ash, by the way. You know that, right? Yeah, but uh, I guess my cooldown is way low. It is like two seconds on yeah. it. Power or power on this. But yeah, that's another thing. Always <laughs> like only use that as a gap closer. Mm, she nice was super out of position. Yep, yeah, go. I'm slowed. Two. Flash to her. You have flash? Yep, two. Two, go. Yeah. You're tunneling really bad. Your team just got ripped apart. Oh, shit, I all the wrong buttons. Oh, yeah. You're about to die, though. You're about to eat yeah. it big. Yep. Next time when that happens, like, don't tunnel unless your execution. Like, your execution gonna have her a lot soon. Don't buy. I have 17. I mean, you're. Though. I mean, yeah, you can buy the pickaxe, but, like, yeah. So, uh, I'm so close to getting that. Yeah. I might be able to get that before I res. Maybe. <laughs> but, yeah, so when you're thinking about flanks like that, you don't want to tunnel on one. Like, if you if your execution was better, you could have gotten Caitlyn right away. Yeah. But it wasn't. Like, you need to turn around and, and help your team out. Okay. Because, like, Caitlyn, so what, she was running away, and then she's not doing damage. But, right. conversely, neither are you. So, basically, what you did was you left your team to get, like, pretty much dumped on by a Moomoo MF. Right, which without, is huge. Right, without you. And if you're, like, if... Ridiculous you, damage. Right, exactly. And you are doing ridiculous damage right now. Yeah. So. I am... Right. 17 and 6. And your, your Eve is really strong, too. So, like... And it doesn't matter who walks up. Like, if a Moomoo walks up, you and Eve should be able to fuck her in the face. Like, I'm about to get it right now. Yep. That's a really strong place to be. Like, you know what that does, right? What does it do? Yeah. 
grants one attack damage for every 2.5% of missing health. So, like, the lower you get, the more attack damage you have. It's Holy really strong. Shit. Yeah, it's really good. Oh, Teemo is right here, right by himself right now. Uh, uh, I would have jumped on her. Yeah, I, I should have, but I didn't have it. Everybody else wasn't on page. Yeah, it's all good. We need to go back around this way. Yeah. Just ping mid, tower. Yeah. No, not a back ping. Just a Oh, god damn it. Nobody else is going in with me. Nobody. Use your health too. You didn't use your two. I didn't shit. Well, I got one of them, but then now all they're gonna die. You guys need to get the fuck out of there. The moon wasn't even there. You guys had that too? No. Yep. But. Mm. Shit, man. It's all good. It's, it's such a big deal. Like the the team has to all be on one page, or else we're screwed. Kind of, I think that was pretty risky too. Like, yeah. You know, they were obviously trying to bait you guys there. I don't know. Like your oh team is God. very underfed too. Yeah, she just she's dead right there. Yeah. Yeah. Like they're not gonna have to do anything. They they might be out of clear us before we get any. Yeah, it's, it's game over. It happens. But I don't know. I'm gonna be able to jump in and do no, something. Oh yeah, no, game. 20 yeah. seconds. Yep, it's game. Yeah. That's it. But yeah, I mean, I think. In retrospect, I think you played well. So like, there's compared to my teammates, maybe. <laughs> yeah, right. That's what I'm saying. But like, that's you know, it's fine. I think that you know, like, I kind of helped you through the build. Or I don't know what you usually build on Jax. Yeah, I don't. I don't go for that avenue on build. But it was strong as fuck, right? Yeah. Yeah. I it mean, was. Blade of the Rune King is ridiculous, and you saw like even when you were one of you one in K, like she can do anything. Yeah. So, I mean, I think it was good. I would say what you should probably focus on is, like, in lane, when they come up to harass you, like, you need to make that a trade. Like, you know, Timo came up to you, like, yeah. jump on him. And you got better about that. Yeah. But then aside from that, like, just being aware, like, always look at your mini-map of that. It just comes with practice. There's nothing, there's no magic to that, you know? It just comes yeah. with practice. Like, oh, well, yeah, I shouldn't chase this. And even top-level players still, like, chase and tunnel. It's, it happens. Yeah. So how long was that game? 41 minutes. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed learning process of leagues. Hopefully we'll come back with some more here eventually. And maybe add in some, you know, actual editing and, and good stuff instead of just this. Yeah. Peace.